Yesterday, we spoke about the intention, the thought that the Kohen has while doing the various steps involved in offering the sacrifice. And if he has in mind that the meat, that the leftover meat is going to be eaten by the Kohen or by the, by the Kohens or by the owners, after it's set time, he invalidates the sacrifice. Today, we learned about the prohibition of leaving it beyond its set time. So every sacrifice has its set time when it's supposed to be eaten, as we mentioned yesterday. Some are specifically for that day and the night that follows. Some have two days and a night in between. And it is prohibited to leave it beyond that time. It's like an expiration date, but it's not a health concern. It's um, spiritually, the divine energy which the sacrifice draws down is to be, in order for it to have its proper impact. And with, with all of the steps involved, as we mentioned a few days ago, that in some cases, even eating the meat of the sacrifice brings the forgiveness for the one bringing the sacrifice it must be done during its right time. And leaving it after that is prohibited. Thank you for watching.